shelter, a garage for strollers with no one to push. The rest of lined up, marched back to sky blue walls of a shark tank, back to Echo, to one pillow, one blanket, two sheets, one pillowcase. They passed me poems on the way out, like, please. Folded, smaller than matchbooks. This is against the rules, but I pocket them like bags of dope. Their earth-toned faces proud with or without proper grammar. Guards thank me for the break. The coordinator assures me I got through to some, hands me a check, drives me off premises, and leaves. Outside, I reach for my smokes, and I feel this bundle of lives against my thigh. I pull children from my pocket, unfold their hearts, and listen, one, I've seen more than most 15-year-olds should. My boyfriend was 40. I got busted with all of his drugs at the motel room while sucking dick so he could keep getting high. I haven't seen him since I've been here. I'm having the baby in here. I'm starting to wonder if he ever loved me. Mom's gonna take it until I get out. Two, if I shot my mom up with dope right, she didn't beat me. Three, yo, I'm a bubble from all this. Shine like lightning with it. Be hot like before I grew icicles under my eyes when they shot my boy. Your revenge was a flower growing in my skull. Hey, Mr. Blake, is this what you meant by a metaphor? And I wanted to go back and tell them, you are at risk, youth. You are at risk of shredding every statistic. You are at risk of using hope to scrub your blood clean as judges hoard is at risk of emptying clips of creation until cinder block lets in more light, until prisons shrink smaller than folded poems. You are at risk of forgiving your parents for failing you best they could for the worst day of your life, skipping until you got here one day. I promise no one will have the right to buy the pencil from your hand. I want to tell them I didn't write my first poem until I was 35. Gandhi didn't gather legs for protest until 46. Malcolm X didn't get out of prison until 27. Mandela reached into 30 years of prison and emerged with the presidency. You risk, you poems, you keys enduring, turning, crying. Miracles kept in darkness until your dreams unlock the locks. Nobody knows who you are yet, but they will. I've spent too much time listening to elitists, bowing to enjambment and diction so long, I failed to notice. I have been reading all the wrong poems. <laughs> <laughs> 